So we've worked for a very long time on trying to understand different ways to prevent HIV. And um, the research what we've done was designed to understand uh, the, the benefits to a person taking ART, an HIV-infected person, taking antiviral therapy for their own health. We tried to understand how much benefit they had for their own health in terms of when you start treatment. We also tried to understand once, once treatment is um, being received, whether the person remains contagious or not. It's a kind of very simple idea, like if you take these pills and they're working to suppress the growth of the virus, shouldn't you become less contagious? But the question we asked is, how much less and for how long? So we asked magnitude and durability. And we did a study that lasted uh, about 10 years to understand whether people in a couple's relationship, when the infected person took pills, would he continue to be a risk to the uninfected person, or would the risk diminish? And what we found in two separate publications, um, an interim report in 2011 and a final report last year, was that the treatment is exceptionally good at stopping transmission. So, and let me then reverse it and say, we never saw an HIV-infected person transmit HIV when the treatment was successful. So we had about 2,000 couples, and the only time we saw transmission from one person to another was when the treatment was unsuccessful. And that was rare. So it, it became, in 2011, and persists to be the mainstay of the prevention strategy on the planet. And that is to find, ask people to be tested for HIV, which is the beginning of all. Negative people can remain negative. Positive people can get on treatment, and that treatment leads to a normal lifespan, basically one pill a day, and the treatment renders people uh, non-contagious, essentially. Um, and um, so programs have sprung up all over the world. Most governments have programs for immediate detection of HIV and immediate treatment. The UNAIDS has the program called 90 You find 90% of the people, link 90% to care, and treat 90%. And it's all based on the very simple observation from this research, that when you treat people effectively and suppress the replication of HIV, that the risk for HIV transmission becomes negligible.